Today on the Tuesday Trio, we're going to check out three online DAWs. Hey everybody, welcome to Minus Studio for the Tuesday Trio, your weekly stop for free and budget tech resources and corny alliterations. Today we're going to look at three online DAWs. If you don't know what a DAW is, it just stands for Digital Audio Workstation. It's just a piece of software that lets you record and edit audio files. Today we're going to do that online. Geronimo. Our first online DAW today is Loop Labs at looplabs.com. Click here on Studio and it'll take you to the actual DAW interface. So Loop Labs, as the name suggests, is focused primarily on loops. You can see here we have all kinds of categories for our loops. Let's try uh, drums. And if you want to use it, you can drag it to a track, move it around, expand it. And let's get some bass in there. Drag our bass over there, extend it. It's beautiful. So what's nice about this is you can also record from a microphone over this. So you could record projects with real instruments like vocals and guitar and such. So to do that, you just hit this record button right here. You have to allow it to use your microphone. Now you can see it is recording my voice over these loops. A little strange sounding, but whatever. Stop it. Well, I think we have a hit song there. That is wonderful. You can also add effects to your tracks. You see we have effects down here. We can add some reverb to my voice. Uh, maybe a little distortion. How about that? Uh, what else? Maybe a little delay. I think that'll make it sound really good. Now let's see what it sounds like. I'll turn my voice up. Amazing. So that's Loop Labs. Again, primarily focused on loops, but you can record your own voice. And if you're looking to make something like maybe just background music for a video or something you're making, it's a great tool for doing that because it has so many loops that you can use. Our next online DAW is Soundtrap at Soundtrap.com. Whereas Loop Labs is free, Soundtrap does have a free version, but it is limited, so you'll need to pay for the full version if you want all of the features and sounds. So we'll enter the studio to see the actual DAW. We'll go with a blank template again. You can see we have Browse Loops, Beat Maker, Play the Synth, Add New Track. You can see a lot of these are premium. That's what I was talking about. You have to pay for the full version to get all the sounds. We'll take this free one called Champion, drag it in. Now let's add a synth in there. Our recording starts in three, two, one. I think we're making another masterpiece here. All right, we got a synth in there. Now let's add a new track. And this is where we can add a real instrument in. So let's add voice and microphones. All right. So now we are recording with the microphone. It should be showing up in there. I can't tell right now because I don't have headphones on, but let's see what it sounds like. Let's see what we got. So now we are recording with the microphone. It should be showing up in there. I can't tell right now because I don't have headphones on, but let's see what it sounds like. There we go. Sounds amazing again. So we also have some effects presets that we can add here. Uh, they have effects presets for all of the categories we have. We just did a vocal, so we'll look at those. Let's go with um, let's go with a lo-fi. See how that sounds. So now we're recording with the microphone. It should be showing up in there. I can't tell right now. Let's see what it sounds like. Yes, definitely another hit song. No doubt. So you can see here that Sound Trap is a more traditional DAW than loops. It's less focused on just the loops and it lets you record all kinds of instruments and software instruments and real instruments and add loops. So this would be closer to something like GarageBand that you're used to. 
And finally, we have Soundation. Now, Soundation, again, does have a free version, but the free version is very limited. And really, to use it all, you will have to pay for the full version. So let's go in the studio here and see what we've got. So here we have Soundation. I had to switch from Safari to Chrome because we had a weird flash freezing plugin thing on Safari, but it is working on Chrome. So Soundation looks and feels the most like a traditional DAW. It is focused primarily on recording real instruments. And we have typical channels just like we would in a DAW here with FX and mutes and solos. Uh, we'll go ahead and record onto this first channel here. We're recording my microphone right now. All right. And then you can see the waveform. I can add some FX. Let's add a reverb there. Here we go. Let's see what that sounds like. Onto this first channel here, we're recording my microphone right now. So Soundation, in my opinion, does do the best with recording real instruments. The effects are more traditional effects and they sound very good. But it is pretty limited, in my opinion. Of these three, if you're recording a full song with real instruments and maybe software instruments and loops, I would go with Soundtrap. That is my personal favorite of these three. If you just want to make some background music or something that just uses loops, then Loop Labs is a very good option and has a ton of free loops that come with it. And then I would use Soundation if I am only planning on recording real instruments and I want some better sounding and more traditional effects like reverb and equalizers. I hope those online resources can help get your lucrative music career started. If you haven't made a billion dollars by next Tuesday though, I will see you back here for another list of awesome.